Hi everyone, my name is Mykeisha and I'm coming to you from out of Philly. People call me the Cake Boss of Chester. Now what I have done today, I did a Philadelphia Eagles football helmet and I want to start off to say that I'm not an Eagles fan. This is for business which someone ordered a birthday cake and they wanted to ask their helmet. Around here we bleed blue. For y'all who know football, know what I'm talking about and know what team I'm referring to. Anyway, let's get back to the task at hand. Now, my bars for the grill is made out of fondant, and I just rolled them out, and I let them dry for about two weeks. Also, these little pieces is also fondant, and I rolled them out and let them dry also. It's toothpicks in here holding the bars together. Even though they're hard, I didn't want gravity to take its course and bend my top bar. And they're stuck in there with toothpicks. Now I got it so black and so shiny because I use food coloring with a little bit of vodka, makes a good paint. So I just painted the bars, let them dry also. The top bar is also fondant and it's also painted. Okay, the cake is a 12 inch round by three inches high. And I have two of those stacked and I just carved it into a shape, the round shape of a helmet. This part is also, I airbrushed this with black. The rest of it is green, of course. With my wings, I had my husband do a template for me, and I just outlined it in black, and then I have some silver edible spray. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get it like this silver spray and I just painted on the outlines of the silver. Now the glue for this cake was water because you know as fondant sticks to water. So what I did was I just put some water on the back of this wing and just stuck it onto the cake. My Rydell sign is also fondant stuck on with water so is the bars. Now the back of it I have my Rydell sign too. It's also edible, it's also fondant, and it's also stuck on by water. We have our Hunter Green airbrushed, and this is my Philadelphia Eagles cake. Shoot me a comment, let me know what you think about it. I'm very proud of it. The first time I did it, my bars wasn't so sturdy, but the key was to let it dry longer and to put some toothpicks in there to hold it up. So I hope this tutorial was very helpful. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. Go Dallas.